Hi everyone and welcome to the channel where we focus on creating lifelong love with a special emphasis on marriage 25 plus years. Today I'd like to talk about cleaning up your small messes. It's amazing to me how many marriages and relationships that we know of or that I know of that become unhappy over time because of what accumulates. Now we know if we've lived in the same house for 30 or more years, there will be a lot of things that accumulate in the closets, in the house that we need to clean out. And so maybe we shouldn't wait so long for things to get that bad. And the same is true in your marriage. Clean up the small messes as they emerge, or you will have a big eruption that might even end up in divorce, estrangement or divorce. And I have known some people to get divorced because they're just not communicating with each other. Now, how did that happen? Well, they didn't clean up their small messes along the way. But let's talk about what are some small messes, how do we even get to having small messes, and what we can do to zap them. What's really important is to have self-awareness, to have awareness. And if you don't have awareness, pay attention to the feedback or the cues or the verbal comments that your spouse might make to you along the way and really take it to heart and really try to hear what others are communicating to you. If you're unaware, you're still responsible for your relationship. So it's kind of tricky. So you have to work on first being aware, then admitting it, and then repairing, you know, apologizing, and changing your actions. Let's say, for example, that you've made a lot of criticisms lately. You've made complaints, you've had criticisms. Those are small messes that can blow up into contempt. It can blow up into lack of intimacy. After so many complaints and criticism, you might have a spouse that just goes quiet on you. And then you're complaining that your spouse is quiet and not sharing his or her opinions. Well, why aren't they? Nobody really wants to be a, around a complainer or a critical person. If you make a criticism, hopefully it should be a solution, a positive solution, and not just you know criticism. Other small messes are the things you do or don't do that upset your spouse you know for example maybe you're lazy and you're just not doing a lot around the house you know the weekends maybe things are messy or maybe somebody just doesn't want to cook or bother with dinner for three nights in a row then there's some laziness that needs to be addressed there and um, you know just this lack of cooperation the lack of cooperation with your partner can just become a small mess for example, what if your partner wants to spend time with you on a Saturday or a Sunday? Not every weekend, but maybe you just want to, he or she has worked hard all week and wants to do something. Well, what if you have other ideas? What if you're a golfer and it's the time of year where the weather is perfect, you have a couple of golf buddies that you go out with, and you just want to golf three days in a row, and you're not really listening to your spouse's need for just an hour of your time or to do something. And so that can become a small mess when you are selfish, when you take too much time for yourself. So as you know, it really is one big balance of you're both working, you have kids, you have interests outside of work and outside of the family. And so what are you gonna do? So you have to make sure that those don't um, erupt into a big mess the selfishness that you might feel you want to take. Better yet, isn't it great when both spouses do the same activity, then they can both do it together. Maybe they both golf, golf together, that's wonderful. So you need to clean those small messes up along the way, or they will like surprisingly gather, you know, like a, a little snowball going down a hill. It, it just will just gather more snow and become too big. So clean up those small messes and how can what can you do when you do have the small messes well like I said you're you're aware you admit you apologize I like to say to compensate with kindness if you realize you've been a little critical and maybe you've been you yourself have been stressed and you just haven't been kind well try to switch gears and become kind to your partner think about 
how is my partner feeling at the other end of my attitude? Do I need to change my attitude and, and smile a little more, be a little more gentle, a little more kind? And so your words can go a long way, your actions can go a long way. So just pay attention to the small messes. We Americans like to plan the big vacation. We like to think, okay, let's, let's go out of the country or go out of state and let's plan a nice big vacation. Okay, big vacations are nice, but what's even more important along the way of life during that year that you're gonna plan a big vacation is to every so often take smaller days away, have smaller breaks. And that's what I think about small messes. Clean up the small mess as they start to emerge so that you don't have one big mess. Better to maintain than to have to do a major overhaul on your relationship. I hope you have a great day and make your marriage great.